Did you notice? I lost weight. About 6 kilograms. Wait a minute, 6 kilograms? That's a bit much. If you lose more than your weight in a month or 6 months, you may need to see a doctor. Hi everyone, welcome to Minglish. Let's get beauty. We all want good looks. But after all, we want good health. I mean, how can you look good if you're not feeling healthy? And this is why you should subscribe. We'll be providing not only beauty information, but health information too. And all this presented to you by Me Media. When was the last time you had a full body checkup? It's not just something for the elderly. According to American Cancer Society, the incidence of cancer among the young population is on the rise. So, how can we know when something isn't quite right, especially mm -hmm. something like cancer? It's hard, right? And this is why we'll be speaking to Dr. Shen today. She's here to talk to us about this. Let's welcome Dr. Shen. Hi everyone, I'm YC. I'm a radiologist. Today's conversation. Hi, YC! Did you notice? I lost weight. About 6 kilograms. Wait a minute, 6 kilograms? That's a bit much. Are you trying to slim down? Um, not really. Actually, I'm just not hungry. You know, last week I went out with Kelly for dinner. I didn't eat anything. I don't know why. I'm just not having any appetite. But I'm quite happy about it. You know, it's like losing weight without doing exercise, no sweat. Isn't this what everybody wants? Oh, it's a warning signal from your body. You could be having digestive problems, endocrine disorders such as diabetes, hypothyroidism, or it could be malignant tumor. How can weight loss be related to all these? If you lose more than 5% of your weight in a month or 10% in 6 months without doing any exercise or weight control, you may need to see a doctor. It could be symptoms of colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, or metastatic carcinoma. Jenny, take this issue seriously. I'm worried. Oh, why is it you're making me worry too? I'm so sorry. I have to leave right now. I don't think I can have dinner or any coffee with you. I'm just not in the mood anymore. I want to see a doctor and I want to do it now. Okay. 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 Thank you, Wazi. See you next time. Bye. Okay. Today's topic. Dr. Shen, cancer is horrible. Are there any physical abnormalities that we should be aware of in our daily lives? I think a palpable mass in the body is a well-known symptom and should be evaluated by the doctor as soon as possible. Well, we all know that lumps is a sign, especially like uh, lumps in the breast area is a sign of breast cancer. How about lumps in other parts of our body? Okay, lumps can be anywhere in the body. If someone has hard lumps in the neck, watch out for thyroid cancer, lymphoma, or metastatic lesion from nasopharyngeal cancer. Oh, speaking of nasopharyngeal cancer, it rings a bell. I remember there was a Korean actor, Kim Woo Bin. He was diagnosed of nasopharyngeal cancer too. I suppose this is just another example that it can happen to young people too. It's not just something for the elderly. Um, how about weight loss? Is that a sign of cancer too? Yes. If someone has appetite loss or indigestion, he should pay attention to esophagus, stomach, or pancreas. If someone has trouble swallowing, chronic pain or foreign body sensation in the chest, watch out for esophageal cancer. We should never take mouth discomfort lightly or even avoid health screening, right? Yeah. Actually, not every symptom that could be cancer is cancer. We should pay attention to changes in our body and see a doctor if we have any health issue. Well, because it's really hard to tell these early signs by ourselves, talk to us about preventions. Okay, regular screenings are very important. Health screening can detect disease before symptoms appear. Early diagnosis and treatment is one of the best ways against cancer. 
So how about for young people? At what age should we start getting health checkups or health screening? Health screening is usually recommended beginning at 40. However, the risk of developing cancer and chronic disease has increased in younger adults. Family history of cancer, diabetes, and heart disease is also important. I think after 30, in addition to blood test, x-ray, or ultrasound, people, especially ladies who have family history of lung cancer, can discuss low density for lung screening with your doctor. Well, we should never take good health for granted. Thank you, Dr. Shen, for this valuable advice. And go get your health check, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Today's keywords cancer, cancer, symptom, symptom, tumor, tumor, breast cancer, breast cancer. Nasopharyngeal cancer, nasopharyngeal cancer, esophageal cancer, esophageal cancer, health screening, health screening. Today's idiom: He who has health has hope. He who has health has hope. He who has health has hope. And he who has hope has everything. It was a great pleasure having Dr. Chen today. If any of your friends or family aren't feeling well, or even skipping health screening, health checkups, you know what to do. Send them this video, get a doctor appointment right now. Thank you guys, see you next time, bye! If you like our video, please subscribe to the channel.